any negative emotion we have, we've got a hurting, a hurting part of our soul that needs help and needs Jesus and needs our love instead of our self-hatred. Because a lot of times, you know, if you have a, a negative thought or a negative thing, oh, I just hate myself. I hate that I do this. And God, God said, love others as you love yourself. You've got to learn how to love yourself to truly be able to love others the way God intends us to love. So I knew I had to find out. And so I'm going to read. This is just this is just a couple of pages that I'm going to put somewhere in my book. I don't know yet where, but it's called Meet Lucy. I just met Lucy today. Last night, I went to Heartprint Writers Group. And while I was there, I started having an old familiar feeling that I am inferior to writers in this group. I can usually talk myself out of this feeling, but today when I got up, the feeling was very strong. And I decided I wanted to find out why I often feel inferior to others. I knew I had a part of my soul who was feeling this way and she must have a good reason to feel inferior. After many years of doing inner healing prayer, I know that I must do, I know what I must do to rescue the part of my soul who is in pain. I invited whoever was feeling inferior to spend time with me so that I could get to know her and for both of us to experience freedom and healing from this nagging feeling. I am going to let Lucy tell you what happened this morning after I invited her to let me know why I was feeling inferior. I am Lucy, and I am five years old. I have been letting Faye know how I feel for many years, but this is the first time she has tried to talk to me. Faye helped me want to talk to her when she told me this morning that I am a gift from God that she loves and is thankful for me. She didn't want me to feel this way anymore. Faye asked me to sit in her lap so she could rock me in a rocking chair. Of course, you're doing all this mentally. <laughs> yeah, God wants us to use our imagination to heal. I have always been alone and feeling like I'm not as good as other people. And Emma, I felt like that all my life, that I wasn't as good as other people. Faye asked me if it was okay if Jesus sat in a rocking chair beside us. I said, that is okay. I have been scared to tell what made me feel this way. Some mean people would hurt me and tell me they would hurt me some more if I ever told anyone the secrets. They told me this morning that the mean people can't hurt me anymore because she is a grown woman. And the evil people are all dead. I didn't know that. I have always been sad. But when Faye told me I was a gift from God and she loves me, it made me smile. I have never smiled before. She has been telling me that that when she was my age, she couldn't handle the mean things that bad people did to her. So God gave me to her to handle the scary stuff so she could do little girl stuff and and have fun. This has been a hard job, and I am glad that God thought I could do that for her. He must think I am pretty special. The time I spent with, uh, that's the end of, end quote. The time I spent with Lucy this morning, letting her know I love and appreciate her, built the joy capacity she needed so she could smile and feel joy instead of sadness. I asked Lucy if she wanted to tell me what happened. So far, she says she doesn't want to talk about it. She is just glad that she isn't alone anymore and that God not thinks she is a gift. She doesn't seem to feel inferior anymore, and that is what counts. This is new for Lucy and me since we just met today. I will come back to this if she decides she wants to talk about it anymore. And then I, I just asked Jesus, Jesus, what blessing do you want to give Lucy for carrying this burden for me for 70 years? I want to give her a song to sing. Okay, y'all, I'm going to cry for this. <laughs> 
I had the joy, 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 joy. And I can't sing, so be patient. <laughs> I had the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I had the joy, joy, joy. <laughs> down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Lucy loves this song, and she loves to sing and dance as we sing it. Okay. I got through that. Beautiful. That is so beautiful, Faye. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so I much. I got to find my clean necks. <laughs> God is just so good. I, I get overwhelmed. Oh, I know. I, I get overwhelmed with what he's done for me. Oh, my goodness. And all the parts of my soul. Oh, my goodness. Is Lucy a part that has been integrated? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's integrated. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so precious. And she was dancing and singing to it. Yeah. That's so sweet. What a blessing for, you know, that little that little girl to feel that finally. And to hear all those yeah. amazing affirmations from you. That goes back to, like what you were saying earlier about, you know, when something's wrong, like if we do something wrong, like ourselves, yeah, we're so quick to like, Oh, you, you're, you're horrible or you suck or you're, you know, shame on you for yeah. doing this. And it's like, we, if we had a best friend that messed up, we would never talk to them like that. Like we would right. be like, it's okay. Keep going. Like you got this, you know, and we talk to ourselves so horribly, not realizing that every part of us is listening yeah. to that, like ourselves, like, our bodies hear what, what we say and they internalize those little things that we don't even think anything about, whether or not you're mm -hmm. DID, like that's no, you don't have to be DID to experience micro traumas that you put on yourself from not talking to yourself the way that you should. And it just shows like how you would say those affirming things to Lucy and how special that was for her. Cause she never, she was 70 years of never hearing that, you know, mm -hmm. like beautiful gift to give her and then she gets this this song as a gift I mean what an incredible story oh my goodness Faye that just touched my heart so much hearing you yeah. say it 